Nice to meet you welcome to my channel everyone. The mode I'm going to introduce today is boss creature. Actually, there are bosses in Skyrim. A typical bandit boss or dragon. But they don't really have an impact. Sometimes I think they are too weak. I looked for creatures and bosses that were really powerful, not just their appearance. I've collected mods that were released a long time ago and even hidden now. Please enjoy watching. Then let's start begin. The first mod to introduce is an ancient mod, Drakian Hydra, created by Mihail when ancient LE was mainstream. In the case of the Drakian Hydra, it almost meets the conditions I think. First, it is a separate space where the boss creature resides. The Drakian Hydra is different from the creatures that roam the normal world of Skyrim because it resides in a Hydra lair. There is even music dedicated to the cell, which further upgrades the tension. Second, it is the appearance that can intimidate players. Have a look at this. It looks like a three-headed dragon, even with hands. Doesn't it look really terrifying? Thirdly, it has to be very strong. Yes, that's right the Drakian Hydra is incredibly powerful. If you ever experience the Drakian Hydra, you'll realize that the Elden Ring bosses were just mud crabs. The access to the Drakian Hydra's lair is on the right wall inside High Hrothgar. The driveway is guarded by Asgarids, and to enter the lair of the Drakian Hydra, you'll need to steal the key from Asgarid, the Greybeards. Be careful, if you get caught stealing a key, you could be beaten to death by him. Anyway, if you manage to steal the key from him, you can enter the lair of the Drakian Hydra. If you put it through the entrance, you'll enter the access road to the nest, where you'll have to fight the Drakian Hydra's minions. They are strong creatures overall. If you go further inside, there will be a lever that leads to the entrance. Open the lever and go inside. A Drakian Hydra will appear. It's like a Chimera with three heads, but it's very hard and strong. It carries out fire-type attacks and has strong physical attacks. It is better to come with a group of followers as it will constantly summon ancient flame dragger and nearby Hydra minions will also keep attacking you. If you kill a Drakian Hydra you will get a Drakian Hydra head. This is a helmet, and it has good defense and options, but it's better not to expect much from its appearance. Well anyway I've told you how to get to the Drakian Hydra lair, so if you can get this mod install it and come back alive anyway. Hehehe, <laughs> The second mod I'm going to introduce is Sephiroth boss and moveset. Sephiroth has a fast attack speed and attacks relentlessly. This is because the moveset is designed to attack 4-5 times in a row for power attack combo. The recently released Sephiroth boss and moveset is a mod created by Anchor A, a renowned MCO moveset creator. So Sephiroth also uses the MCO moveset he made. After the first phase, it spreads its wings, and after that, its attack pattern is completely different. At this time, the weather changes, and it changes to heavy rain. After he spreads his wings, a pattern of throwing sword energy from a distance is added. Be careful not to get attacked as the power attack will hit more times. The length of the sword he uses is basically long and his hitting precision is long. Therefore, it is best to dodge behind Sephiroth rather than dodge backwards. Sephiroth has high attack power as well as high defense power. In addition, even though I couldn't film it in the video, it will be a more difficult opponent because it uses various powerful magic attacks such as Sephiroth Meteor Summoning and Flame Bombing. After defeating Sephiroth, 
Sephiroth and using Masamune's weapon, you can also use Sephiroth's moveset. But it's still a question whether we can beat him. The third mod to introduce is MGR Sam Boss and Moveset. It feels more focused on moveset than boss creature. Of course, it is an MCO moveset. But the unusual thing is that this moveset is made with a special weapon and set. If you look carefully at this part, the character momentarily grabs the scabbard with his left hand and then puts it back on his waist. The creator seems to have paid attention to details like this. It is a well-balanced mod with the quality of weapons and movesets that separately support attack sounds and equip-unequip sounds. MCO Weapon Art allows you to attack while defending. And you can taunt enemies by pressing the sprint and normal attack keys together. Next up is the Samuel Rodriguez boss enemy. It's a boss that feels like a cyborg samurai. And because it uses the move set introduced earlier, the attack motion uses a neat and stylish motion. It even has a taunt animation. Rather than encountering him as enemies, you can summon him to battle when using this mod's weapons and armor. This mod's move set features the Elden Rim stagger, so if you use it with the Elden Rim, the stagger will work together when you attack an enemy or when you are attacked by this move set. Fourth is the Toad Prince. The Toad Prince mod adds the Toad Prince from The Witcher 3 to Skyrim. Right now it's a Tez Nexus hidden mod, but if you google it you'll find it. If you go to the Temple of Mara in Riften, you can get the key to the sewer along with the note. Go to the basement of Mara's temple, there is an entrance to the sewers, which you can use the key to open and enter. When you reach the sewer, there are various creatures including Skeever, go further and there is another entrance if you go down the sewer water. Upon entering, you will meet the Toad Prince. Toad Prince doesn't summon creatures separately, but it has a wide range of gastric juice attacks, so be careful as it is powerful. Since it is a mod made mainly for LE, you may see an exclamation mark. But do not panic and run the meshes file of Toad Prince mod with SSC NIF optimizer to solve it. Plus, there are quite a few creatures around, which can be quite tricky to kill because of the large number of them. It will be easy to kill the Toad Prince if you usually hide behind pillars and attack from range. The last creature to introduce is Hydra. Hydra creatures are pretty annoying, and there's a reason I'm saying this. Once there, Hydra is very difficult to find. Fortunately, I found one in the depths of the Sea of Ghosts, but the problem is that you will most likely die from lack of oxygen while going down to the depths of the sea. Even if you arrive and draw aggro on this Hydra, it's harder to get the Hydra on land. However, I will continue with the premise that you have succeeded in luring the Hydra to land. First of all, the first thing to be careful about is the poison gas breath. It is a ranged attack, so it will be quite difficult to defend. And even if it's not necessarily a breath form, there are various other poison attack patterns, so be careful. The second is a jump attack and melee attack. The only way to do this is to timely dodge this huge Hydra to jump on you. Hydra is a creature with high health regeneration. If you don't consistently damage the Hydra, it will regenerate health after a while. But even if you do damage to the Hydra, things get even worse. The Hydra head is severed and the severed head acts as a separate creature. That is, the severed head crawls up to you and starts attacking you, which is probably quite shocking. It's a fairly difficult and powerful creature, but I think there will be a sense of accomplishment when you handle it. I wish you all the best of luck. This concludes the introduction of the mod. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end. Subscriptions, likes, and notification settings are very helpful for channel growth.
See you next time.